Hey guys, Donway61, and today we have the key, a ship that has an inherent duality built into it. Uh, last update, this ship was added as part of the global XP ship, 750,000 global XP, could net you the key. It was a ship that was very highly sought after and was previously exclusive only to loot boxes, but has now been released for GXP, and this is kind of me uh, kind of going over its strengths and weaknesses in this. We are in the moment you want to be in the key. How you envision playing the key. This is it right here. Two battleships, close range, and uh, we're going to split the middle. And uh, because of the way the key has its torpedo launchers, we are going to absolutely decimate them. And this is, this is the dream scenario for the key, but it's so rare that you actually are able to pull this off that I I don't think you should really go for the key thinking you should play like this because as you see right there, we get absolutely slapped. This ship is not built for brawling. Yes, it has a turtle back, but the, the truth is it isn't really designed to be an up-close brawler even though you have these beautiful torpedo tubes that are begging you to, to let you brawl with it. But, you know, that's that's where we are. Anyways, we take out the Iowa there, and now it's just a matter of getting our rear guns around to take out this Nagato. And uh, here he goes. Bye bye Nagato. Oh, beautiful. Exactly how you want to use your key. But it isn't how you should use your key. Instead, this next clip kind of shows the way you should be using it. So here we are on to Brothers. Now something you have to remember about the key is it is a Japanese battleship, of course, and because of that, it does have access to the concealment mod. And when you have access to the concealment mod, well, who you, should you play as? Well, we're playing as Kirishima. That's because her base trait reduces your detectability time after firing, which is an amazing trait for battleships because it means you can fire and then less than 20 seconds later, drop off the radar, be able to reposition, fire again, and kind of keep up that pattern. So here we are firing our reload time longer than 20 seconds. So we're gonna drop off the radar a little bit sooner than that, but we absolutely smack this Iowa. And then uh, right when probably that Iowa would have been turning his guns to deal with us, we go ahead and uh, drop spot, or at least uh, that is the plan unless there is a destroyer around, which let me tell you, there absolutely usually is. And this is kind of the way you want to play the key at long range, duly, uh, sending salvos down range. Now, what is the key? It's essentially like an Amagi class as far as the battleships go, but it has a couple of key differences. Of course, it does have the torpedo launchers. It does have significantly less torpedo protection. In fact, if you look at the Amagi, you'll see two beautiful bulges on the sides that are its torpedo protection. Key does not have that. Also, it does tend to have slightly less accurate guns. Now, mind you, for our build, we have built a full kind of accuracy build, and that is giving us some pretty good success. We're, we're hitting some beautiful salvos on these enemy ships that are broadside, and that's kind of what you want to do in Key, especially because it has that concealment mod that is somewhat rare among uh, among battleships. It, it, you know, it's only really accessible to the Japanese and some of the British vessels. And if you have it, you might as well use it. But if you play with this play style, well, it's completely different and completely kind of counterintuitive to the brawling play style that you want to use in the key, right? That... The, the whole point of the key was like, yeah, we have torpedo tubes. We might as well close up. So that's kind of my my PSA with the key is that you kind of have to pay attention. Um, you kind of, it, as far as a global XP ship, because it is one of the most recent additions to global XP, I'm really enjoying it. It is a different way to play, but you need to keep into account and keep in mind and understand that even though it has torpedo tubes, this is not going to play like the Tirpitz. This this will not play like the Odin. If you want a brawling battleship, go buy either of those for global XP. But if you want in a 
decent long range battleship with the ability to hold its own if it gets into close range with other ships. I think the key is where you might want to look. But yeah, guys, I know it's a rather short episode, but I figured this was a nice way to kind of show the duality of this ship of, yes, you can use it to be an idiot, but it's far more effective when played correctly and played smartly. So guys, if you liked the video, go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.